they've been known to deal longer than we've been known to deal mm -hmm. while we was continuing to deal. Reservist Blueface had previously denied paternity, a stance that seemed baseless. Until now, this revelation makes his earlier denials seem more credible. And as the story continues to unfold, the focus shifts to the disturbing reality that amidst all these chaotic revelations, the true victim seems to be Christian in blue fuzz baby rumors have been circulating about the child's health with some fans speculating that the baby might have cried to CHAT syndrome, a rare genetic disorder characterized by a cat-like cry. This speculation arose after a concerning video surface of Kizan's baby making unusual sounds he's so cute despite christian's reassurances that her baby is healthy the internet remains ablaze with worry and accusations one particularly shocking incident involved blueface posting a picture of their son's genitals on social media claiming it was necessary to highlight the child heria which he accused chrisen of neglecting this led to a public outcry not just for the violation of the baby's privacy but also for the apparent lack of parental. Responsibility shown by both parties, the image now deleted, caused a firestorm of criticism, with many questioning the mental state and fitness of both parents to care for their child. That's all he want to sit up and talk about my babies, blessed from the head to his toe. Like what, interestingly enough, Christine responded to the backlash by admitting that she had missed a doctor's appointment for her son's hernia surgery. But, but justified it by highlighting her struggles as a new mother, her admission, only fueled the flames with critics, arguing that regardless of personal difficulties, the child's health should be the top priority. This leads us to the troubling conclusion that their son is caught in the crossfire of his parents' public and tumultuous relationship. The baby's plight doesn't end with health concerns just weeks before the genitalia post-incident. Christine was criticized for mishandling her baby. At a Walmart, a video went viral showing her juggling shopping carts and her dog with her baby's head precariously dangling from a carrier. This sparked another round of public outrage, further cementing the perception that the child's welfare is being neglected. Christine defended herself by stating that she was overwhelmed and in need of help. But many saw this as yet another example of her inability to prioritize her son's safety. In an unexpected twist, Blueface's mother, Carissa Saffold, entered the fry offering support for her grandson, while subtly criticizing Christian's parenting Saffold involvement, has added another layer of complexity to this already convoluted drama. Her comments have ranged from supportive to scathing, reflecting the conflicted feelings many observers have towards Christian's capabilities as a mother. So you want her to leave, I would love for her to find somebody else's child to play with. I would love for her to go find another man. This public dissection of her parenting has only intensified the scrutiny on Chrisen and Blueface's tumultuous relationship. What's truly alarming is the environment in which this child is being raised. Blueface's accusations against Chrisen have included claims of substance abuse, which she vehemently denies these claims, however, have not gone unnoticed by authorities. There's growing concern that Child Protective Services might intervene if these allegations continue to surface the notion that their son could be taken away from them is not far-fetched given the visible evidence of their parenting struggles broadcasted to millions online experts in child welfare have weighed in noting that the consistent public display of negligence and conflict between Chrisen and Blueface could indeed trigger a CPS investigation. One child psychologist commented the consistent exposure of the child to such a toxic environment is extremely damaging. It's not just the physical neglect that's concerning, but the emotional and psychological impact. As well, this sentiment echoes the concerns of many fans and followers who have watched this drama unfold with a mix of horror and disbelief. In another shocking twist, Christine recently accused Blufus of assaulting her while she was holding their son, an allegation he has denied here. You're right here. He's mad I'm going live. I'm already going live here. Your hands is already bloody. Show him your bloody hand. This latest accusation paints a grim picture of domestic violence 
that further endangers their child the constant volatility and physical confrontations between the parents create a hazardous environment, one where the child is undoubtedly the biggest loser as we delve deeper into this saga. It's clear that the true tragedy lies in the life of an innocent child thrust into the limelight by his parents' reckless actions. The continuous stream of scandals accusations and public spats has turned this child's early life into a spectacle raising serious questions about his future well-being. Could it be that they've been known to deal longer than we've been known to deal while we was continuing to deal like we all know it's your kid, like you could stick up for your kid or whatever. But why don't you just go get your baby like it's safe to get your baby, now like hold on to your seats? Because this celebrity drama is reaching New Heights Bluefus, and Christian are behind bars, and their baby has been taken by the police. But that's not even the craziest part Bluefus's third girlfriend, Bonnie Lash, just dropped a bombshell that will blow your mind. She's claiming that rapper Kay Swave is actually the father of Christian's baby, and that he was paid hush money to keep it a secret play the role that that's not your kid like you could go get your kid, cons in jail, blues in jail, like go get your baby like we know he paid you off to you know be quiet. So what's really going on who's telling the truth dive into this jaw-dropping story as we unravel the wildest twists in terms of this scandalous saga, you won't believe what happens next, okay? So Kron got arrested Cran Rock, showed up to court Monday to support Bluefist, but ended up being arrested on her own charg. As well as the story unfolds, let's delve deeper into the drama that led to this shocking revelation Christian Rock, already embroiled in multiple legal battles, found herself in hot water after being sentenced to 30 days in jail and 12 months probation for assaulting a backup dancer at a tome where Braxton show what happened. Music. Christine, no they saying I got a whole another case. The sentence came with the additional complication of, of extradition to Oklahoma to face substance charges leaving her future and her sons hanging in the balance. Interestingly enough, while prison faces these legal Wu Blueface himself isn't far from controversy in a dramatic turn of events Blueface revealed on social media that a secret DNA test proved he is not the father of Christian's baby Crisinger, his jubilant reaction. I can't even pretend like I'm not happy as hell stirred the pot, further raising questions about the real paternity of the child. Could it be that Bluefist was right all along? Or is there more to this story that meets the eye? I think the baby looks like him. Honestly, you don't think the baby looks nothing like you at all what you think, what no one expected was the entrance of Bonnie Lash into this chaotic scene. Known for her tumultuous relationship with Blueface, Bonnie took to social media to claim that k Blueface is the true father of Christian's baby. This leads us to the question, why would k Swab stay silent about such a significant matter? Bonnie alleges that hush money was involved suggesting a cover-up orchestrated to protect reputations and possibly avoid further legal entanglements. It's cool like it's locked up now. Go get your baby. Like stop you have a chance to change the baby life. And this revelation has sparked a flurry of speculation, with many pointing to past interactions between Crison and Case Swave their history, which includes public displays of affection, and even tattoos adds fuel to the fire Crison. After her fallout with Bluefist, was often seen with Case Swave and even got his name tattooed on her hand, was this just a fleeting romance? Or was there more to their relationship? How you doing one insider revealed the chemistry between Crison and K. Swab was undeniable they were always seen together. And it wasn't just a casual fling this statement, only adds weight to Bonnie's claim, making us wonder was cast the true love interest all along in a shocking twist Blueface's decision to conduct a secret DNA test and publicize the results seemed to be a calculated move to distance himself from Crazen and the baby this action coincided with Christian's legal troubles, making the timing all the more suspect was Blueface aware of the real paternity from the start or was this just a lucky break for him? Who do you think is the true father of Cranjura? I think it's her ex. 
This leads us to the question, what role does Boniel play? And all of this, her declaration about Kaswab being the father isn't just an idle rumor, given her proximity to Blueface and the drama surrounding their relationship. It's plausible she has insider knowledge, moreover, Bonnie's own tumultuous past, with Christian filled with jealousy and rivalry, might explain her eagerness to expose this secret. Interestingly, Bonnie's claims have also brought to light old rumors about K. Swave and Chayan. There were whispers that their relationship was more than just professional, with several instances of them being spotted together long before Kizan's pregnancy became public knowledge. Could it be that their relationship predates her involvement with Blufus? And the baby is indeed K. Swaz, so all y'all are so confused. And waiting on his response, you're not going to get a response. Because he with me, he don't with cram, like that he has to use that as we dig deeper old scandal.